And this is uh, strange. Perfect time for you to show up. This is strange. I am um, able to do two fish in two days. Did the walleye yesterday for Michaela. I finally got all my paints after having to jump through a whole bunch of hoops with McKinsey Taxidermy and I can now do the grayling. Okay, so while I'm getting the airbrush ready, I'll kind of talk you guys through as to why this is going to be a shorter format video. Um, grayling are... They don't have a whole lot of opaque colors. They're all just kind of translucent, iridescent colors. And all of these paints that I've been waiting for are translucent, iridescent colors. So that is why I've been waiting for those. On the face, there's a lot of blues and purples. So that's where this is going to come in handy. I'm, I'm going to try that new thing I mentioned in the walleye video with this one. I'm going to do this right on top of the white. So I actually lied. I'm going to put two paints on before I uh, go to the store. So obviously starting with white and then doing sparkling white. Let's Ooh, silver pearl. I may do silver pearl. And then I can always go over the whole thing with sparkling white once it's all said and done. So, yeah. Silver pearl looks like a cleaner white color, so we'll just go with that. I've never used any of those colors before, just like I've never painted a grayling before. And per usual, I'm just covering up all the all the dark spots. And just so it's not repetitive and for time's sake, I probably only show you guys me one side. It's gonna be same sides. A little bit counter, 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 I said, I got out the size and half too big. There's a lot of stuff on the face and hangers. Ugly in places. It's all for telling the honestly. There's a layer of parking, plugging, showing your pettings. And it's totally fine, honey. Because I know it's going to be a little bit up on top here with the super high white. Just because there's a lot of colors within that dorsal fin so I'm gonna hit it pretty good so those colors can pop the way they need to not hit it too much to where it's not translucent all the fins real fast, real light. Alright, I got some of that silver chrome or white chrome. I can't remember what it was called. Silver pearl. I was close enough. So, I'll just go over the white that I just sprayed with it and do it pretty heavy on account that most of the colors in a grayling are iridescent colors.
but I, she doesn't quite understand um, I'm talking to the camera. She thinks I'm talking to her. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure I'll have Maple fans in the in the comment section. But uh this fish kind of has like yellowish stripes. They're they're a burnt umber mixed with the yellow ochre. So I'm thinking I'm going to mix wouldn't you know it? Burnt umber and yellow ochre to get those. That's going to be the next paint and then I'm just going to add some blending brown to that and that should be pretty much all the color to this fish. It's pretty, pretty basic simple paint job um, and then a lot of iridescence on the top. That's where most of the color comes from on a grayling. So, just because it's, uh, it lacks color, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be an easy fish to paint. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. It could be very easy to screw up with all the iridescence. Got that all did up. Put a little bit more uh, silver and I added blue to it this time and that looks really nice I didn't realize the the camera turned off so sorry for that it was the same process as the last time I did it just with blue so uh, that didn't turn off again nope we're good um I this over to it. Just gonna spray over everything with some burnt umber, orange, and blending brown. dark on top and fading it down into the body and then we'll do some fun with iridescent colors on the face kind of excited about that and on the fins I'll probably do the face and the fins all at the same time here
am going to go in with white, outline all the little blotches in here. They kind of have that false white ring around them like the brown trout did. So I want to give them that and then I want to go in down here and put lines in this fin to I, did, I want the brightness of these colors to really pop. I am standing up now. My other buddy Eric is here to help me with Michaela's car. And I kind of figured I would be done with this by the time he got here, but. Turns out grayling are really complicated fish. There's a lot of iridescence and a lot of depth. Okay, now I got that white color. I'm just gonna go down as far as I see fit. 